With Geonosis wiped out, our next big target was Sullust. It was one of two remaining big foundry worlds in the galactic south that the Separatists still controlled, the other being Fondor. The prospect was a grim one, considering how many new and untested crews and commanders we were leading into battle in those days, but the great war machine of the Republic could not be halted indefinitely. The political appetite for more and more victories back home was such that we had to mercilessly press onwards, and any thought of a negotiated settlement at this point was a distant and hazy memory. Luckily, we would at least get the chance to blood some of our crews at Nelvan first while en route. But uh, our invasion plans were quickly scuppered when the Separatist General Grievous once again made his flamboyant presence known in the Outer Rim by attacking a string of worlds which included Bothaway. Thus began several long planning meetings where Republic forces had to be shuffled around again to meet the emerging threat. Grievous had attacked us where it was obvious to do so. Kashyyyk and Rusan were now heavily defended strong points by this point, and further down south, the same was true of Rishi and Kamino. So, he made his assault in between, where our forces weren't up to the job. This was Strategy 101, of course, not the work of a tactical genius, and the last thing anyone could describe Grievous as was a genius. But it only heightened the sense that we were probably should have seen it coming. The Donna got a lot of flack from upstairs about that, and unfortunately prove only to be the beginning of his problems. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Star Wars Empire at War Fall of the Republic, where previously we took Geonosis. We defended Kashyyyk and Rusan like champs, and uh, we fought a bunch of space battles around in this sort of neck of the woods here. Um, we currently have Adar Talon and his massive pile of Victory Star Destroyers inbound to try and rescue Kalarin from Im imminent invasion. We have Tarkin sat in orbit around Malastare, doing sweet bugger all as usual as he is wont to do. Uh, we have a probe droid inbound to Dera 4 to check that out. Um, and I think we're building another probe droid on Eriadu area. I've... Nine nine times out of ten, I pronounce it as Ariadu, and then there's that one time where I end up pronouncing it Ariadu for some mad, weird reason. But anyway, building another probe droid there, uh, and Admiral Dodonna is on his way to Nelvan, so we can quickly just just get rid of Nelvan and, and mop that up because I sort of forgot it existed last time. Uh, and then after we've dealt with Nelvan, we'll be dealing with Sullust because it's just annoying the way it sat here, separating us you know, Tarkin from down here, and it's just, yeah, I don't... Up, up with Sullust here, surrounded by Republic planets, I will not put. So Sullust, then Mustafar, and then we begin a campaign to essentially take all of these worlds here. Uh, Tyna, Darafor, Mex-3, Kareva, and then eventually Fondor as the grand prize at the end of it. Um, and then after that, it is, well... Off to the galactic northeast, north and northeast, really. Into the territory of the banking clan up here, and uh, I think the trade. I think this might be trade federation territory over here. I'm not sure though. Um, all of this stuff, yeah. But it'll take us a little while to get there because everything takes longer than you think it will in this game, unfortunately. So uh, it ain't gonna get done any faster if I sit around here gabbing about it, is it? Um, an enemy fleet is about to invade Kalarin. Yes, we know that. Just wondering if there was any more inbound anywhere else. I don't think so at the moment. I don't believe so right now. We have 11 grand in the bank. I'm wondering if, yeah, I think I want to get some decent defenses in orbit set up around Bothway. At the very least, enough to warn me if an enemy fleet is inbound. Uh, Rusan, how are you doing like on the ground at the moment, guys? You've got your planetary shield generator. You've got your barracks. You've got your senate office. Um, you've got a bunch of clone trooper platoons. Would you like more clone trooper Enlisting platoons? Troops. Because that can be arranged. <laughs> Kashik, you're building more artillery. That's good. Um, I'm wondering, is Rathana building anything? Unit in production. It's building saber tanks. I'm going to queue up a unit of, uh, and an, another unit of artillery. And hopefully, if I remember, because it'll probably be done in like two episodes from now. Uh, hopefully, if I remember, I will move that unit of artillery to Rusan just to make the place even more difficult to take for the enemy. 
Um, I am I'm I'm in awe of how we've managed to actually hold on to Rusan after all of these repeated attacks by the Separatists. They have been striking out from Balamak repeatedly, trying to take Kashyyyk and particularly Rusan, and we've just thrown them back into the proverbial sea every single time they've attempted it, and it's great. Uh they continue wanting to waste their resources trying to take a useless little planet like Rusan. I mean yeah, I'll go for it, lads. <laughs> See if I care. Okay, uh, let's unpause and let everything play out because we've got stuff sort of doing Tactical its... Ah. Yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't get to Kalaran in time. Um, what are they invading with? Three units of crab droids, six sport dwarf spider droid companies, staps, unit of only a single battle droid, B1 battle droid platoon, and a couple of... Uh, tripods against literally whatever free barracks units we get. Oh boy. Probably should have zoomed in there and then sure, and, and rejigged the locations of a few buildings, but never mind. Too late now. <sighs> okay. Uh, I was expecting a snow battle, if I'm honest with you, judging by what it looked like from orbit. Um. Oh, it's this map. Right. Plenty of saber tanks to play with, at least. Go! I got your back. Well, we've got turrets up already, so obviously we've been here before. Scanning infantry. I've got you. That's for turret set up over there, so I'm I'm okay leaving that flank a little unprotected. Uh, really do like Republic troopers, you can secure this turbo laser tower. Shield up. We've captured an abandoned turbo laser tower. Very good. I'd like you guys to come down here and secure this landing zone just so the enemy can't have it. Nice, turret's doing some work. Oh, we got incoming. Well, so far so good, honestly. Can we take this and turn it into a mobile base? We've secured a landing zone. Yeah, hell yeah we can. Uh, let's make it a support Still field base. Hey. Go take this turret position as well, why not? Reporting. Now, we're liable to get airstriked here. Something I'm definitely aware of. Try and spread stuff out as much as I can. It's one of those maps, though, with a lot of narrow, narrow sort of canyons and corridors and whatnot, though. So it's 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 difficult. I am limited in terms of what I can achieve in that regard. You guys need to be taking cover. Oh, the B1 horde. Horde singular, though. In this particular case. Alright, you withdraw this way. I'd like to turn this into a repair point, I think. Cinematic cam on the go. So we mow down the invaders. Okay, what are you doing now, camera? <laughs> Shield up. Brilliant, you can go back up here. Oh, here come the dwarf spider droids. Oh boy. Oh well, there's one saber down. You're about to be down as well. Oh, there goes the bombing run. AA turret is... Well, no, not an AA turret, but I think one of my droids here was trying to take him out. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, that did quite a number on us. I'm, I mean, I have AA turrets scattered about, but they inevitably end up getting built in the wrong place. Uh, I've, I've had people in the comments telling me, oh, you should build AA turrets, but honestly, man, in this mod, the AA turrets are really pathetic against most airstrikes, unless you get very lucky and they, the enemy comes in and flies over the exact spot you need them to. It's not like the fall of, uh, no, sorry, what's it called? The, um, it's not like the awesome AA turrets you can build in Awakening of the Rebellion, which absolutely decimate incoming bombing strikes. You know, you get the big ones you can build in addition to the little ones. It's not like that. Well, we were holding out quite nicely there for a little while, but uh, they've kind of mown us down. That bombing strike really screwed us over. It's not over just yet, though. Let's get defensive. Oh boy. Need you to move a bit further up so you can actually do your job and heal people. Oh good. Wonder where the bombardment will be going. Strange. I'm still in one piece. Turret constructing. Unit destroyed. Come on guys, get some rockets on this thing. Oh boy. What'd you just blow up? I'm not sure what they just blew up, but they blew up something. Oh god, I didn't even notice those turrets there. Okay, one one tripod down. They only have this they don't have any more after these. Oh they're retreating, get in. Get out of town, you. They didn't actually lose that tripod company in the end because I couldn't kill both of them, but uh, never mind. We actually, we held the planet. That's the main thing. That's what matters. And now we're about to mop up whatever's left in orbit if they don't get out of, out, out of dodge pretty soon. Uh, okay. Good, 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 good. And that'll be the second uh, probe droid done. Uh, what? Well, I guess that's the problem with not having a space station to warn you about this sort of thing. All we have is a senator's office versus Grievous, two companies of, of tripods, and a unit of dwarf spies. I mean, there's not a lot really he's invading with, but I also don't have a lot to defend it with. Bloody hell. He's back again, everybody. Good old Grievous. Don't know how many more times he can cheat death at this point, but far, far away. Speed up. Let's go back at it. Look, the droids were looking for. Uh Man. I think we actually need to move over here. Take advantage of some of these defenses. We've got a turret set up over there from presumably the last time we would try to take this planet. I mean defend it rather. Sure, but remember, we seriously don't have a lot to work with here, though. Luckily, the Bank of the Republic is flush with cash at the moment, so we've got that going for us. Construction complete. Honestly, this actually should probably probably have been a vehicle turret, but oh well. Ah, there you are. Shield up. Construction complete. Here we go. Construction detonators. Hopefully it might help, I don't know. They blew up like two droids, I think. They're not even droids, they're, they're bothans. Stupid bothans? I'm on your side. Why are you, you, you support the separatists? You little gits. Oh 
What's that? Is that one of his uh, magna guards? Yeah, it is. Oh, there's the man himself. Get him. Kill him. All right, he's, he's running away. Typical Grievous. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's looking a little confused, if I'm honest. He's distracting our guns, actually, is what he's doing. Even his magna guards are quite hard to kill. Jeez. Now he's running away. And here come the tripods. You need to shoot that. And the turret's down. How much of this can we kill? Tripods are a big problemo, frankly. Try to shoot over here and build another anti-vehicle turret, honestly. Oh, they're coming in from the north as well. Bollocks. Maybe the little scout walkers can help take these things out a bit better. Oh, look, it's Grievous, and he's chopping everyone to pieces. Oh, God. Oh, dear Lord, no. Damn you, Grievous! No, 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 don't let him come near you. Drop a detonator. Go away, Bothans. Oh, this is the end. They have way more stuff than I thought they did. Way, way more stuff. I'm actually kind of amazed. It did not look like a lot. I mean, I don't even remember them having, like, any B1 platoons or B2. Maybe they're getting that from, like, a... Ah, they might be getting that from a mobile base thing. Yeah, that's probably where that's from. Alright, well, we've had it. Rip both away. Again. Ah, uh, it's an embarrassing defeat, if ever there was one. System lost. Very irritating one too, frankly, because I gotta know. I now I've got to redirect someone to go deal with that. Um, There's nothing we can't handle. All right, talent, you can go deal with that. I'm gonna have to send the army north to go and take that back now. And uh, oh, it's just gonna slow everything down. See, it's the annoying thing. The Separatist defeat is inevitable at this point, I think. It's just they're going to do everything in their power to make it last as long as possible. And, um... That includes... Slowing the game down while it thinks, apparently, the Separatist AI. Enemy fleet's about to invade Carida. Uh, don't I have, like, the massive home fleet? The core fleet parked on Carida right now? They feel confident in they that they can take it on. That's a little worrying. Oh, come on, game. Come on. Get it together. Any minute now, I'd like to actually be able to play. That would be nice. I, I only have these problems with Fall of the Republic. No, no other mods for Empire at War do this. Construction complete. Oh, no, for a minute there I thought maybe, maybe it was done, but it's not. <sighs> okay, well, been here for a couple of minutes now, I think. Tactical battle imminent. Oh good, and uh, immediately a battle, <laughs> so I can't actually do anything I wanted to do. 
And yeah, we do have a fleet already on Carida, so yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so Nelvan then. And of course, I don't have anything assigned into the lead slot, so... This is just going to be a random assortment of crap dumped into the game. I always forget to do that. I, there's so many little annoying features of this game that remind you how old it actually is. And one of them is the fact that the lead unit in the slot for a fleet or an army doesn't get saved when you save the game. Uh, good, you've got one of those, have you? One shot, one Dodonna kill. Reporting in. Choose your reinforcements. Ready to update orders. We'll level them. Missile tubes loaded. Missile destroyer reporting in. I think you wanted that other ship over there. Actually, you're right. I did. I wanted this. I wanted this pelter because <laughs> it's got the point defense on it. Dodana reporting in. What's the order? Right, sir. This used to be a judicial ship, you know. Light Corvette here. Pelter frigate responding. You got the command. They gave me two support pelters for some maddening reason. Oh well, it's protected like always. Interdiction mine. Drop a mine. Turn it on. Make sure they're not going anywhere. I'm here. Do I have fighter support? Got you on the calm. Targeting computer online. Pull the glass free and out your Pulte service. Here. I might be small, but I pack a punch. Ready to commence. Fire cannon firing. Cruiser standing by. There he goes again. Yes. I feel a little saltier than usual today. I'm not really sure why. I think it's just the the game. I really hate dodgy game performance issues like we just had there. Charging That's the sort of generator. stuff that kills playthroughs. What is it, so I get very annoyed about it. Republic you know, and honestly, if, 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 if the computer I have since Very upgrading is still not good enough for Empire War for the Republic, then nothing is as far as I'm concerned. Focus fire on that target. Come on, guys, shoot something down, please. All stations ready. Captain here. Delta frigate here. Watch out for those asteroids. Come on, guys. Yes, sir. Come on, guys. Get up here and start shooting down missiles. Destroyer ready. Yes, General. I'm here. Let's blow something up. You got the captain. Bolt and Frigger responding. Standing by. I'm here. Oh, sir, fighters. We've lost you on the this way. We'll hold this I'd actually quite like you to go after uh, that if you can make it all the way over there. Destroyer holding. Pull the glass for you and out of your service. Cruiser ready for combat. Man, they really did give me a Order huge assortment of random command. tiny ships on this one, didn't they? Destroy not would have would not have been my first choice, but hey. Ready. I've already wrecked most of their stuff. Fighters. Looks like my fighters aren't getting very far over here either. Attack formation. Go after the stragglers. At your sir. For another attack. Ready to update orders. We taking this thing out? Yeah, we are good. More enemy craft. Loading ordnance. Taking fire. Destroying the techno union ship. Knock these guys up. Oh, just control A, right click. We reached that point, I think. Yeah, kill that diamond cruiser for me, please. Hyenas are actually dying. 
they've got an entire fleet shooting at just them, and apparently that is enough to finally actually slowly kill off a unit of bombers. Sir, no <laughs> yes, I'm still salty about enemy bombers being virtually indestructible. Either there's something I'm fundamentally not understanding about how the fire and bomber mechanics work in this mod, or they are just a little bit silly in terms of how difficult they are to kill. Pelters. Leading the way. Where are my Corvettes at? They're all dead. I think they're all dead, yeah. Looks like it. That's the problem with Corvettes, I suppose. They have a habit of just dying and you don't even notice it when it happens. Watch out for those asteroids. These pals, do you guys have point closed point defense? I, I don't I don't remember. Anti fighter it doesn't say anything about point defense. So they're probably not right. I was, I was a bit of a shame. I was about to say that maybe I should just start investing in pelters instead of Corvettes. But if pelters don't do point defense, then nah. It's not really a replacement, is it? And I'm quite sure that's by design. This is General Dodana. Oh, the fighters are finally blowing this thing to the kingdom come, which is nice. Dodana reporting in. Focusing all firepower. Target at maximum range. Firing barrage. Oh, missiles didn't even have a chance to get there. Marvelous. Yeah, lost two Corvettes and two light assault cruisers. And I didn't even see it happen. Alright, I didn't want to go cinematic cam on the... Uh, the campaign map. No, that definitely wasn't part of the plan, I have to admit. All right, let's get Kenobi over here to quickly take Nailvan, and then he'll have to double back and go take back Bothawai as well. Let's do How this. Did I not see that coming? Yeah, I know, right, mate? The answer is we didn't have a... Uh, we didn't have a... We didn't have a star base set up at Bothawai. So I had no idea Grievous was inbound. All right, I would like the commandos to be in the lead slot for you lot, and you guys have a cruiser. Come on, mate. Did, did the thing. Did. <laughs> this game hates me. It just doesn't let me do what I want to do, does it? The user interface is just... I'm in a constant war with the game's actual UI. They are the, the UI is a greater enemy in this playthrough than the frigging droids are. Uh, okay, let's do this. Oh, look at all those victories! <laughs> Hi, boys. Ooh, there's a few of you here, isn't there? This isn't going to be a one-sided battle. This is the captain. There's nothing we can't have. Talent. You need to be at the back. Where you are at least a slightly less tempting target for the enemy. Cruiser ready for combat. Moving into positions on your command. This used to be a judicial ship, you know. What's the order? Awaiting your orders, sir. Your orders, General? No problem. Got you on the calm. Ready for takeoff. Watch out. All right, fighters up front, please. Missile destroyer reporting Sword destroyer, you can get up here too. Ready for orders, Commander. Copy that, General. Homing in. As you command. Copy. Yes, Commander. All right. You coming towards me? Brilliant. Bring it. I've got a lot of death triangles. Captain here. Bearing set. What is it, sir? Standing by. What's the order? Woohoo! 
Corvette. Corvette's up front as well, please. Cruiser here. Yes, indeed. Got a big firing line. Slightly wonky looking firing line, but a big firing line of victories. Ready to let loose with their missiles. You can, yeah, stop right there. Alright, here, here it comes. Fighters are engaging by themselves, that's nice at least. Lead unit of hyenas is getting wrecked. Not as fast as you'd think though for someone who's got like a hundred fighters on his ass. Point of defense is hopefully doing its thing. Anti-fighter is hopefully doing its thing. The lag is noticeable. Try and get ready to jump some of these acclimates out if needs be, actually. This guy looks like he's target. He's public enemy number one for the Separatists, apparently. They're shooting a lot of missiles at me, and I'm not shooting a lot back. Oh, wait, there, no, that's about to change. Okay, time for you to leave. If you can make it out. Fresh victory in. Make sure all targeting that thing. You need to warp out. Warp out, not the right word, but you know what I mean. Oh well, that's a victory about to die. Lucky I've got more. I mean, a the, the missiles don't seem like a very efficient way to kill things unless you seriously micromanage what subsystems they're shooting at. Because otherwise you get missile barrages shooting at the same thing and they arrive when it's already been destroyed and then does no damage. Alright, pull up next. Oh boy. Come on, guys. Ah, the sound of Victory Star Destroyers being absolutely wasted. Never gets old. <laughs> Our launch bay has been destroyed. Oh god, they're bringing more in. This is not even the last of it. Oh, they're finally retreating. Right. Uh, I think you've already killed its engines, but... I don't know if you can kill the engines on that one. No, one of them got away. Okay. They decided to bug out. So, what was the damage on that one then? All of our corvettes and light cruisers gone. Unsurprisingly, we lost a PDF Dreadnought, which I don't care about in the slightest. We lost a Carrack, we lost an Acclimator 1. Only one of them, actually, which surprises me. Um, we lost three victories. They lost a Bulwark, two Diamonds, a Hard Cell Missile Ship, a Munificent, a regular Providence, and three Dreadnoughts. I think we came off better out of that, but... Yeah, that wasn't um, that wasn't the ruffle stomp either side was probably hoping for. 
immediately going to have to reinforce this fleet now because uh, yeah, all of a sudden <laughs> it's, uh, it's looking a lot flimsier than it was. At least, you, well, you can sit around uh, orbit Bothwai for now. Am I still building? How's, how's the... Uh, it's 91% done, right. I'm going to send a Praetor their way, I think. I think, uh, yeah, I think Talon's going to be the next recipient of a Praetor because just he needs it. I think every major fleet of mine needs at least one Praetor at this point. They need it for that added sort of security, really. The ability to sort of react to something a bit bigger and nastier than they are and under short notice, you know? Because they come along with like three Luka Hulks or something right now. I'm not I'm not convinced my victories are going to be able to handle something like that. You know, three Luka Hulks with the usual backup support. Yeah, that'd be rough. Unit in production. Uh, game, can I please select Rendilly? Can I please select? I can. I'm allowed to select some planets, but not others. Uh, is it because the game is paused? What is the deal here? No, I just. I am not allowed to select Rendilly. There we go. Finally. In production. Why are you the way that you are, Empire at War? Why? <laughs> right, can I finally invade Nelvan, please? Invasion Thank you. Commencing. Good grief. Let's see, a low-tech world usually ignored by a galactic society centuries ago. Its only role of note was ship captains slicing off chunks of glacial plains for the mineral which rich water they contained. Techno Union operations have recently scraped sorry, sapped the planet's core of energy and altered the climate to plunge it into a deep ice age. Really? Because it looks more like um, the arse end of uh, Arizona to me. There's a sandstorm, in fact. Ah, oh, we need to... Oh, I remember Nel... This is where we got Delta Squad killed. <laughs> <laughs> ah, memories. I even deployed some commandos right off the bat, didn't I? Nice. I remember this place. Choose your reinforcements. All right. Moving out. Sir. Cody, in you come. And some saber tanks, and a clone platoon, and we'll just crack on with that for now. Right, one of these I think I want to be a repair station. station. The other one can be anti vehicle, I guess. Alright, there's this infantry only path that goes this way. Complete. So in retrospect that probably should have been an anti uh, anti infantry turret, but never mind. Let's move out. Here we go. Well, that didn't last long, did it? Uh, I think I'll deploy one of you here as a defensive unit because you you you, you move very slowly. But you might be also or, or not not too bad on the defense. See so if we can get over here and take this point. That's priority number one. <laughs> that one saber just racing ahead of everyone else. Whee! I'm really keen. Oh god! And now I'm going to die because I'm a moron, and I went ahead of the infantry. I guess you're going over here to the repair turret, huh? I think these are Cody's guys, right? Yeah, they are. Which means you are essentially amazingly expendable because as long as Cody isn't dead, neither will you be. On that note, let's uh, 
make you assigned to six. Cody has sensor ping, right? Which is actually very useful when we've got, you know, airstrikes and stuff to you to, to, to take, take advantage of. What a helpful little fella in that in that respect is is Cody. Yeah. See there you go. Bombing run available. Perfect. Change stance. Take defensive stance. What do we got over here? Oh, lovely. Y wing squadron reporting. Sir, sensors show a squadron of enemy starfighters heading toward us. Enemy starfighters. You're a little little mixed up. Yeah, they should recalibrate your sensor there, mate. Oh, beautifully done. Building under construction. Let's go. Job's not over yet. There. Come on. Pick up the pace a bit, I think. Spread out. Point sweep, I've got point. And work on taking this point here. Construction complete. Move your cover. You see metal you I know you can cover. Don't you Oh, that thing came so close to running us over. <laughs> Began that little suicide charge there. The camera really wants to look at that anti air turret <laughs> for some reason. Gonna set our base under attack, and I assume they meant over here, but apparently not. What is this thing? Oh, it's a power generator, it's just mounted sideways. Ah, it's clever. You, you've arrived just in time. Go and help with that. What's this? Oh, it's the sandstorm weather effect. Heavy wind and sandstorms have reduced rocket accuracy by 50%. I see. I knew it had an effect, I just couldn't remember what it was. I didn't even realize they had icons for it at the side. There we go. That was fairly painless. Constructing. Get ourselves a Senate office. And let's get to Donna. Over here. Wait until we've removed temperatures control completely. Uh oh, AI's thinking again, guys. It's thinking! About to invade Contrum, huh? I don't know how defendable that actually is right now, but I, unfortunately the game is thinking so hard, I'm not allowed to go and even look. <laughs> uh come on. I wonder if, like... Maybe there's some particular thing that's causing the AI to just just really lose its mind when it's trying to think. Maybe it's the fact that it's got so many planets surrounded and cut off. It's a vain hope, perhaps, but I'm thinking maybe if we kill off Solus, Mustafar, all of these, and then they just have like a blob of territory up in the north here, we might 
see less of that weird stoppage because the AI isn't trying to compute. Oh god, I've got stuff that's surrounded and I don't understand how to deal with this. Maybe. Who knows? And there we go. Control's been removed. Okay, so about to invade Kalarin and Contrume. Kalarin again? You little so-and-sos. I'm not going to be able to get anyone in there in time, am I? Well, I unpaused it and immediately just look again. It's frozen. Ugh. I'll take back Broth away another day. I'm going to leave that probe droid there until I actually want to know exactly what's on Dera for. Contrum, on the other hand, is all the way up there. I, I could send Baraka to go and stop that, but... I think he would arrive too late at this point. And the AI definitely has a bit of a hard on for Carrider at the moment, so I'd prefer he just stays there for a second. Ah, some Sabre tanks are getting finished, that's good. There's a few things on the ground here at Rathana that. I, I don't I guess don't really need to be there anymore, do they? And I say a few things. What I really mean by that is actually quite a lot. All of you, go on. Into orbit. Off you pop. And I Ooh. Ah. <gasps> Excellent. Look at this stuff. Right. Um Let me see. Enemy fleet approaching. Kalarin. Ready? Again? Okay, right. Well. Copy. I better move you to Emberley in case we have to leave Kalarin. Yes, Commander. Tactical battle imminent. Damn it. Alright, what are we dealing with? Okay, not too bad at all. Not not too bad at all. Dig in. Assuming that's everything, and the uh, the UI isn't hiding some units from me. I was about to say, Oi! I put a Carrick in the lead slot, and then I remembered, Oh wait, yeah, you don't get a choice on a defensive mission, do you? Choose your reinforcements. All right, gentlemen, I'm gonna fast forward this and let you come to me. Oh, they're running away. Do I have any? Receiving. Do I have a pelter in here anywhere? I do not. I should really fix that. Ah, uh, they've changed their minds. Okay, that works with me. Bye bye, Toodle Pip. See you later. It's not going to get any easier, you know. By the time you come back again, we'll have a pray tour. Speaking of which. No! Game, just let me move my units. <sighs> Alright, so we have a planetary shield generator here. That's certainly good. We don't have a lot else is the problem. <laughs> oh dear. This is also a world that's relatively valuable to us because it provides us with um, industrial thingies and um, farms and whatnot. So losing this would... Oh no! Oh no! It's got a critical victory point thingy! I thought having a planetary shield generator stopped that from being a thing. I guess not. Arg. I can't even turtle up properly. Oh boy. Prevent them from getting control. Yeah, all right. Jeez. Okay. Oh man, look at the look how awkward a, a place they put it in as well. Like it's you know the opposite side of a lake that you have to walk a million miles to get around. Oh, this sucks. This sucks so very much. 
You guys get over there. You guys take that. Nice music playing. I mean, there's that. That's something at least. Are there any turrets we can take advantage of here? It doesn't look like it, does it? Beginning construction. Roger. Advancing. Done. You and me. Still building this, huh? Okay. Looks like there is a turret point here at least. What's this down here? Oh, that's the shield generator. Plant shield generator. Ooh. Ooh, I should have shuffled that around. That should not be in such a vulnerable position. All right, it's beginning. Oh wow, they just murdered everyone who was stood here. Yeah, we need to definitely make sure they don't take this southern flank here. That would be bad. Building started. Turret constructed. What did you eat this morning? Shield deployed. I'm on you. Turret constructed. Turret constructed. What's on Chris Rogan? Uh, can I re-divert some saber tanks down here? That'd be a good idea, I think. Complete. Construction complete. Hello. Now can we build one of these? You guys all taking cover? Yeah, you are. Constructing. Alright, well, where's the rest of them? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they have a gunship here somewhere, too. I'd love to have a AA turret somewhere in the middle here, but it's not really an option. Oh, there's a point over there that I've just completely complete. forgotten about, apparently. Go grab that. Our base okay, they're pushing the northern flank now. Ah, there is a turret position there. And there's another one there. I just didn't notice it. My god, it's slightly camouflaged. We take advantage of this. I think we should. Uh, AA turret, that one, I think. Okay, the hill is protecting us from a lot of damage there. That's that's good at least. Okay, now they're pushing in here in the center. Saber tanks. Take out these crabs. Running away, eh? Speed up. Draw. Okay, we've secured this. Uh, I need more boots to the ground at this point, frankly. I'm tempted to put a couple of... I'm tempted to make these anti-air turrets, these, both of them. You never know, it might help. Probably not, but it might. Depending on it, you know, in case the enemy bombers come in at a funny angle. Of course, they can't come in at the moment because we've still got the shield generator up, but I'm going to operate on the assumption that that isn't necessarily going to be the case forever. I feel like almost like this uh, landing pad here should be like, like water and it's like negative cover. 
like you're particularly exposed when you're just out here on the concrete. You know what? We could really do with a... Can you guys capture points? Looks like you can. Anyway, yeah, repair station, that's what we need. Finish the thought. Alright, you two droids. And you clone troopers, up this way. I don't even remember building this planetary shield generator, you know. Past me, from like, several episodes ago, was smarter than I gave him credit for. Alright, well, the enemy's not being very aggressive now, is it? Oh, here comes some more. Sacrificial V1s. Well, this is usually the moment when it's time to counterattack, really, isn't it? Interesting. What's, um... I wonder what's up there. No, no, you guys can stay there. I think I'll just use you guys in the middle here to, to push forward with. Secure the zone. Covering fire, go. Where you going, trooper? Run! Here we go. Oh no, my little droids. My weird, weird Republic droids that feel so terribly wrong. Speedy. Let's go. I wonder if I should secure these for next time. Okay, there's some B ones dying somewhere. I just heard it in the background. I think it's really helped us on this map, is it? It's been very difficult for the AI to actually get more than one landing zone. As exposed as the main objective is, it's, yeah. And they're retreating, in fact. Nice. Nice! Not even any casualties. Not bad. They didn't even bother deploying their gunships, did they, in the end? It's kind of funny. Okay, Rishi next is apparently on their shit list. Where's Rishi? Where is it? I always... I, I, this, this one planet that I always can't remember where it is. here, right. Who's available to do something about that? Nobody? Ah, great. Alright. Talent, you're going to have to try and rush over there, mate. What are your ground defenses like, Rishi? You've got, well, you've got a lot of clones, and you've got base defenses, which I should probably swap out for, you know, planetary shields. Honestly, that's the point, because they're, they're just they're just better. They're just better. I mean, base defenses are nice, but Panzer Shields just stop bombardments and bombing raids. And bombardments and bombing raids are the reason I they're, they're the reason I lose planets at the end of the day. They're the reason I lose planets most of the time, it feels like to me. Uh right. You guys ready to move out from Nelvan now? Anything else you want to build down here on Nelvan while we're here? Labour camps, perhaps, tax collection agency, I think. 
Uh, right, now I'm gonna want to move you up to somewhere, question mark? Um, you're gonna take back Bothawai for me eventually, Kenobi, so let's... Get Adelie over Jedi to Kamino for now. Their sacrifice will not be in vain. Um, let's build a stack of units here. I'll wait till the saber tanks are done, then I'm going to move them like that way first, so I can try and get them. I don't want to move them for Rishi because otherwise they'll just get blown up in orbit potentially very soon. Missiles at the ready. Oh, AI is thinking again. It's thinking. I wonder if uh, the reason for so much lag in Fall of the Republic is the pop cap. That's something I'd never considered until just now. And I was looking up there to check how much cash in the top left I've got. And then I noticed the pop cap next to it. And how ludicrously high the pop cap is in this mod. Maybe that's sort of got something to do with it. Because I know that... Um, I know def for definite when I play Awakening of the Rebellion, the the, the the faction pop cap is always very low in that mod. It make, makes you think very carefully about what kind of units you want to build. And also the Galactic Civil War is not like an epic, awesome, huge war like the Clone Wars. So to keep things toned down a bit, the, the pop cap on the number of units you can actually have is much, much lower. Um, and I've never had performance issues with that mod. And Thrawn's Revenge might be similar. So I wonder if that's I wonder if that is the reason why uh, Fall of the Republic is just historically for me always ran terribly. Might just be the ludicrous pop cap. It's so high. I mean, I have I have tons and tons of units just sat around doing nothing on planets at this point, and we're still not even close to the maximum unit capacity. So, I can only imagine what the AI has been doing with its with all of its economic cheats. You know, trying to fill up this. Imagine how many units it probably actually has. Yeah, and, the, and then when you think about it like that, no wonder no wonder the game's lagging every time the AI tries to make a decision. It's got about 500 units to move. Shield up. Oh, can we get to Rishi in time? Maybe. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that Kenobi was going to go through Rishi to get to Kamino. Yeah, that didn't even occur to me. But luckily, he didn't get attacked in orbit. Alright, where's my Praetor at? It's still sat here, because I just still haven't had a chance to move the bloody thing. And I still won't get the chance to move the bloody thing, apparently. <laughs> oh god. Alright, okay, here we go. I like how there was one acclimator already here and then the rest jumped in. Are you guys going to just run away? Because if I were you, I'd probably just run away. Breaking calm silence. Reading you. Let's wait for the fires to spawn in. Look at that. No corvettes or anything like that. Nothing. i got like one character. I think that's the only, only ship here with some anti-fighter ability. It Luckily, it's not going to matter. <laughs> Yeah, and they're running away. Very good. Sensible, I would say. Probably didn't run away immediately, which just because I wasn't actually visible to them. Maybe I was in the fog of war. But that doesn't make sense because I could see them. So, uh, whatever. Whatever. Got it. Let me try and get you over there. Can we please now, for the love of God? No, I, I'm, the game is paused, isn't it? I, I'm not allowed. I've got to try and somehow quickly do this while in I between the AI trying to. Yeah, there we go. Finally, hooray! Hooray! Uh, I managed to move my Praetor. I'm so happy. Show me what to destroy. Um, let's see. Rathana has shipyards, right? You do. Pretty good ones too. In fact. Uh, support pelter unit. is what I want. A couple of regular pelters. A few regular unit. pelters, actually. And... Well, one corvette for now. In fact, you know what? Forget the corvette. Unit 
Cancelled. Constructing another pelter, unit. and then I'll queue up a bunch of corvettes after that's done. One support pelter and a bunch of regular ones. That should help deal with fighters, I hope. Um, okay, so... Kenobi has nothing to do for the moment until I'm ready to move in and take Bothway back. And that will be once the Praetor arrives, because I'm sick of running around one step ahead of the Praetor all the time. Uh, in the meantime, Sullust, I reckon. Should try and take Sullust. Let's do it. What's on Sullust? Tell me, little probe droid. They have... Yeah, a decent-sized fleet, but not... Uh, we've, we've looked at this before, and it doesn't seem to have changed much between this episode and the last one. So, yeah. Very, very, very destroyable for Dodonna, I think. Eminently destroyable. Ooh. They have some unique buildings down there. The Commerce Guild office. Discount and time reduction for almost all Commerce built guild products. The Diamond Cruiser, basically. You get a discount for Diamond Cruisers for building that. And some influence. I'm going to be honest, I don't sound, that doesn't sound worth it. <laughs> Uh, okay, they've got an ion cannon. That's good to note. They've got <laughs> hordes of crab droids on the pl on the surface. Tax collection agency. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. Do we definitely have a? Yes, we do have a lead unit set up. I'm gonna try and do what someone in the comments suggested, which is to bring in a less important ship in first and hope that the ion cannon decides to shoot that instead of the Praetor. Let's run this gauntlet. Because that'll be... That'll be nice. I should read this, shouldn't I? We haven't been to Sullust yet. Sullust is covered with thick clouds of hot, barely breathable gases. Sullust is inhabited through its vast networks of underground caves where native Sullustans have built beautiful underground cities that draw large crowds of tourists. The massive Sorosub Corporation is based on Sullust and employs nearly half the population in its mining, energy, packaging, and production divisions. They're already in place. Oh, we've got a cool battle map for this one too. Nice. Lots of asteroids. Big ugly lava planet down below. Love it. So, let's have a look. The lighting on this map's really nice as well. Oh, they've got one of those big star bases too. Ooh, this is gonna be a fun one. Okay. Choose your reinforcements. Where actually has my cruiser jumped in? There it is. Okay. Um. Benector. The ion cannon gonna fire. Yep. Uh, the Praetor naturally is going to have to come in. Now. No problem. Copy that, General. The Donner at the back. Anyone need a repairs? Some little pelters. Understood. We're moving out. Right, sir. Understood. We are moving out. Sport pelter. All right, that's the max one we get to play with for now. Apparently, they're going to come to us. No, it does not like it. Well, the horde of fighters might come to us, but not Let's anything else right now. Whoa, coming. that's not what I wanted to do. Let's run this gauntlet. Vectoring now. See, I thought... <laughs> Goddamn. Goddamn perspective is a bitch, isn't it? I thought I was deploying those pelters in front of the, uh, of <laughs> the Praetor. It turns out I really wasn't, was I? It's <laughs> uh, probably like... Space battles that are in 3D, but not really 3D. Oh yeah, here they come. Ready. Sir, we've searched the site. Get out there and engage those hyenas. Why am I fighting so slow? What is going on here? Oh, come on, point defense. Oh, dear. Well, no point defense for us. Went close enough, I guess. 
You need to get move, move further up, man. I need you to shoot down incoming missiles. Come on. Oh boy, we are clumping a bit, aren't we, boys? Yeah, Dodonna, I do definitely want you at the back out of harm's way, mate. Sick of losing admirals. <laughs> Moving now. The enemy is actually moving now. Good, good, good. Missiles are up slightly. Oh god, look at the blob. Unleash everything on this. I think it will be for much longer though, the way this poor victory is getting battered. Oof, Praetor's getting a bit more, bit of a mauling as well, isn't it? The frame rate is just being absolutely obliterated. Oh dearie me. I'd rather not use the Praetor, honestly. I mean, it's not the end of the world if I do, but I'd rather not. Kind of annoying to have to replace. Uh, bring in some carrots, honestly. We have a bit of anti-fighter, I think, which might help us right now. Dodonna, what are you doing? Sitting at the front there getting shot at. What are you doing? So many blue fighters on my screen right now. It's a little disgusting. Alright, I'm putting a dent in this Luca Hulk now. Support pelter to help repair, I guess. We've lost our turbo lasers. Oh my god, there's so much more. Oh boy. Oh Dodonna's gonna Dodonna's had it. He's so screwed. God damn it. That's exactly what I wanted to avoid. Ah. Alright, well, he isn't dead for the purposes of narrative because we'll be seeing him again later when we play Awakening the Rebellion, but. Oh well! I'll just have to do a bit of creative storytelling to explain why he's no longer in command!
I hate it when the AI does that. I mean, there's nothing stopping me from doing it to their admirals, and I do it frequently. It's just... Uh, it's kind of why I prefer mods with respawning heroes, if I'm completely honest with you. Or at least, like, they do it in Awakening the Rebellion, where you ca they get captured and you have to rescue them. I think we need to shift fire, stop focusing on the Luka Hulk, blow something else up. I didn't even notice they had a Providence flying around on top of all this. To think I said this fleet didn't necessarily look too bad. What a fool I was. Think we're going to lose the Praetor, aren't we? Yep, there it goes. Well, that suddenly frees up an awful lot of pop cap on the bright side, I guess. Alright, you dicks. <laughs> You've killed the Praetor, but I'm bringing in everything now. Victories just melt everything, please. Our missile launcher is gone. Our vector will regenerate us. that little bastard as well. He's got an ion cannon in front of that. Go for the Providence in the middle. More victories where that one came from. Not a whole lot more, actually, but there's more. Yes, a large number of options still alive actually. Oh, they're bringing in more. Should have taken advantage of the fact that thing jumped in so foot close. Could have done quite a bit of damage to it, never mind. Oh yeah, definitely kill that ultra heavy ion cannon. Nasty bit of kit. How's <laughs> that better just still alive? Is not going down without a fight, apparently. Absolute carnage.
Try kill these little 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 bastard things first. They're gonna, only going to shoot down our missiles. We have several victories all on fire right now. Okay, it's engines. You're not running away just yet, chump. Switch targets to that. He doesn't have a lot of guns left. Okay, we just lost a cluster of victories all at once there, I think. Oh, they're bringing in a bulwark as well. Look at all those missiles hit the thing that isn't going to do any damage. Ah! Capital shipyard back there that's been spawning in a lot of these things we've been having to deal with. That's why this fleet has seemed so much larger than it actually was. I didn't, I failed to take that into account. Oh well. Took up this star base, the two star bases to get through, and the capital shipyard. <laughs> oh boy! Oh god! We're gonna take this planet, though. We're gonna make it worth it. All Y wings. Go for that. That just. No, all fighters go for it. Up this way. You've got the captain. Our Quentin's responding. Has made it here. None of the bombers, though. They might have exhausted all the free units they get from this thing, though, anyway. We get infinite vultures. Yeah, they've, they've, they've actually exhausted everything. Switch over to this instead. Looks 
Take this thing out with just the just the fighters. I've done it before. Go on, get some missiles out there. Time to mop up. You know, it leads another victory in the process of this, possibly. There it goes. Now the shipyard, please. Right, that's that then, isn't it? Except they apparently still have a few tiny little Corvette things running around that is preventing me from winning the mission. Don't you just love it when they do that? There we go. Oh my god! So, we lost an Acclimator 1 missile cruiser thing. Two light assault cruisers, two regular acclimators, three pelters, four aquatons, two pelt support ships, three carracks, a praetor, a corvette, six venators, a dreadnought, eleven victory ones. In return, we destroyed an auxiliary pursuit destroyer, a golan two, two bulwarks, five gazantes, three carriers, an IGBC gun platform starbase, two diamond cruisers, twelve colovexes, a dreadnought shipyard, a Luca Hulk battle carrier. Six dwarf spider droid companies that were in there somewhere. Uh, two Munificents, a Golan two, three Providence Dreadnoughts, five Gazantes, two Recusants, and the horde of other free ships they got to throw at me free of charge. Ouch! And of course we lost Dodonna as well. Ouch! That hurt a lot! <sighs> Researching. I don't feel like that was worth it, but I don't know what else I was supposed to do to get around all of that, really. It was just a, I could have attacked it with two mandators and I probably would have lost one of them. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know. I say I ask questions like that, and then, and then the comment section dutifully comes along to rake me over the coals for making 26 different terrible decisions that I have only myself to blame for. Yeah, I know how this goes, guys. All right, I've got, I've got, I've got an Aquitans, three Venators, five Acclimators, and five Victories. And that's, that's the fleet. That The once mighty Outer Rim fleet has been reduced to that. Well, I guess, uh, I guess Tarkin is going to come in and take over. For now. Delightful. Friggin' Tarkin in command of it now. That bolsters it up a little bit. But we're going to need to order another Praetor, clearly, aren't we? One of these days we'll research Victory 2s when I'm not busy spending all the money on Praetors. Oh look, it's Grievous. Hi, Grievous. You gonna attack Rusan, eh? Good luck, that's all I'll say to you. Good luck. Alright, Sabre Tank Company. Lovely. Um, 
I just reached for and clicked the pause button and then, ugh. All of you guys go here and join Kenobi's army. Kenobi's really, really stonking great big army. Because, uh, well, we can't actually take Celeste. That's the annoying thing. I can blockade it for now, but I can't take it yet. Well, I suppose I could use Anakin's army, which is not very big. But it's something. Yeah, I guess we'll use Anakin Mines, to do it. Repairs, but that will be next time, ladies and gentlemen. We've been at this for an hour and a half. Um, I'm far too salty to continue today. <laughs> I've had enough. Uh, right. Anything else I can queue up before we leave? Yes. Unit in production. Bunch more victories. Can we get building some small corvette type things? Quat can, but Quat's busy with a Praetor, so. Ariadu could build some stuff, admittedly. I ain't got any money left, though, so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed. Um, things today did not really go according to plan. I still haven't managed to take back Bothway yet, which is very annoying. Uh, we really need to do that. Uh, it'll be the next thing Kenobi does, I think, with, with help from Talon and friends. Still doesn't have his, uh, his Praetor. It's inbound. It's on its way. It's there. Um, but he'll have it eventually. And yeah, we'll take back both away. Try and reinforce it a bit. Uh, and I'll see how Anakin gets along, gets on taking on Sullus, honestly. I mean, he is a bit of a powerhouse, especially if you deploy him with Ahsoka. She's kind of annoying, frankly, but... <laughs> Her voice lines are super annoying to listen to, but she's a very useful unit, so... What do you want from me? Um, yeah, we'll see if they can take Sullust. Uh They don't have a lot on the ground in terms of defensive buildings. The thing it's the interesting thing. They got this weird, unique building that's a bit useless. They got tax collection agency. They got the ion cannon, and then a corporate headquarters, and then a horde of crab droids. <laughs> so, I reckon Anakin probably can actually take that. I mean, even if it just comes down to him personally skewering crab droids with his lightsaber which, let's face it, he's quite good at, so. Yeah. That'll be Sullust done. Uh, that's a that's a big Separatist planet to take at the end of the day. That's a big... It cost us dearly, but the, it cost us dearly for a reason. Um, Sullust is a big one. Mustafar is a big one. Fondor is the last big one they have down in this corner. I'm sure they have big ones up here, but I honestly don't really know what a lot of them are. I have to assume Moonalist is probably a big deal. Because it's like the headquarters of the banking clan or whoever they are. They do have a lot of plants out here with a lot of uh, shield, orbital defense strength things on them. Dathomir seems to be... Woof, yeah, that Dathomir's got quite a lot of things on it. Where's, like, their best planet out here? Just out of curiosity, where is it? Is that their absolute best of the best. Raxa Secundus is very well defended. Mon Calamari, they've really... Oh, yeah, Mon Calamari is, is a big deal. Since they took that over from us, they've got a Tier 4 Dreadnought shipyard there. Maximum orbital defenses. It works. They've been busy on Mon Calamari, that's for sure. But, I mean, yeah, honestly, like, once that's gone. Fondor is their massive one. They've got four. They've got Dreadnought Shipyard there as well. Level four all the offenses. Um, Mustafar is actually not that awesome in terms of defenses. I just, I just happen to remember they have a very big fleet there. And presumably it is still there. Sullust was the big deal down here, really, by comparison, but yeah. They don't have a lot of those really big planets left, do they? They, I mean, Mon Calamari, Mintuin, Pamant, 
These, these this little trio of plants over here, that's a big production center for them. Um, and then Fonda over here, and yeah, that's, that's, that's where they're building their biggest ships. Cool. Well. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I babbled on long enough. For an additional three or four minutes there, in fact. But anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy uh, just shooting holes all over me in the comments section for what a bad tactician I am. I don't care. I make no apologies. I am still winning this campaign, so screw you. <laughs> I will continue to win in the least efficient way possible. Damn your eyes. Joke of the side, though. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Um, I will catch you next time. I know uh, we didn't do an episode of this last week. It's because I had some real-life stuff going on, and uh, my my upload schedule got completely disrupted as a result of it. And unfortunately, um, Empire at War did not make the cut because I make no money from these videos. Um, because the Star Wars soundtrack in it means that I don't get to monetize it. So, um, unfortunately, when, when, when a video series needs to be dropped out for a week because I don't have the time, it's usually going to be Empire at War because it makes me no money. Nothing at all. It makes me nothing other than just occasionally people randomly deciding to donate to my Patreon as a result of watching this series. That's about as much as I get, and that's not a lot, trust me. So, <laughs> I just do this series because I love it, and it's fun. But, unfortunately, you know. Business is business at the end of the day. Uh, I'm still babbling. Ladies and gents, thanks very much. Catch you next time. <laughs>